thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel. I hope you will like what you see. In this video, I will show you how to create a six strand braid with two ribbons. I use this kind of combination to secure the ribbon. I have two ribbons knotted to each other and then the elastic. Take a small piece of hair away so you can hide the elastic. Then take the small section of hair and secure the elastic around them. After that I press my hair with a little bit of water. But using too much water to the big braid makes pancaking very difficult. Next, take a section of hair, including the ribbons. Separate the ribbons from the hair, and then share the hair in four equal pieces. Start by bringing the left hair strand under to the next. Add some hair. Then over to the ribbon. Then take the rightmost hair strand and bring it over to the next and under to the ribbon. Now you have two hair sections in the middle, cross them over each other, right strand goes over and left under. Then bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons over each other, right goes over and left under. And that was a one pattern. Now I repeat this, left strand under to the next, add some hair, bring the left strand over to the ribbon, then start from the right side, bring the right strand over to the next and under to the ribbon, add some hair below. Cross two middle strands over each other. Right goes over and left under. Bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Then cross the ribbons. Right goes over and left under. Start over. Bring the left strand under the next. Add some hair and then bring the strand over the ribbon. Continue from the right side. Take the rightmost hair strand, bring it over the next, add some hair, and then bring the strand under the ribbon. Cross the middle strands over each other, right one goes over. Then bring the right ribbon under to the middle, and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons, right ribbons goes over. Left strand under the next, add some hair and then bring the strand over ribbon. Bring the right strand over to next, add some hair below and then under the ribbon. Cross strands over each other. Then bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons, right ribbon goes over. Bring the left strand under the next, add some hair, then over the ribbon. Take the right strand, bring it over the next, add hair below, and then under the ribbon. Cross the strands over each other, right one goes over. Bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons. Keep on repeating the same pattern. If you watch closely, you may notice that I hold most of the time two outermost strands in one hand. They are not separated in any way. If you create moody strand braids for the first time, it might feel weird 
but to me, it's the only way I can create traits that includes over four strands. Also, if you haven't traded multi strand traits very much, I suggest you to take the trait that includes multiple of ribbons. Ribbons are easier to control than the hair strands. For example, this braid includes only 4 hair strands, so I believe if you can braid with 4 strands, you can create this braid with 6 strands as well. When you are behind your ear, pancake the braid if you like. Pinch the stitch between your fingers and pull it gently out of the braid. Then keep on braiding just like before. If this technique looks too difficult for you, at the end of this video you can see the technique without addings. In many cases it's simpler to understand than the Dutch one. Here's the simplified version. You need to have two ribbons in the middle, two hair sections on right, and two hair sections on left. Start by bringing the left hair strand under the next, and then over ribbon. Now, as you can see, I have hair strand and ribbon on my left hand, hair strand and ribbon on the middle, and two hair strands on the right. So continue from the right, bring the hair strand over the next and under the ribbon. Then cross the hair strands over each other, right strand goes over. Then bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons, right ribbon goes over. Now when I created the whole pattern I have two strands on the right, two ribbons on the middle and two hair strands on the left side. Then bring the left strand under the next and over the ribbon. Then the right strand over the next and under the ribbon. Cross the hair strands over each other. And now I have one ribbon, one hair strand on right, two hair strands on middle and one hair strand and ribbon on left. Then bring the right ribbon under to the middle. Bring the left ribbon over to the middle. And then cross the ribbons, right ribbon goes over. And after that I have ribbons on the middle and hair strands on the side. Repeat again, left strand under the next and over the ribbon, right strand over the next and under the middle, cross the strands. Bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons. Left strand under the next and over the ribbon. Then the right strand over the next and under the ribbon. Cross the strands. Bring the right ribbon under to the middle and left ribbon over to the middle. Cross the ribbons. Pancake your braid 
time of the time. This parade is very easy to pancake afterwards also. Stitches won't be so tight as it includes so many strands. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, I will see you soon again.